Hello everybody, today we'll be drawing this uh, nature scene here uh, from the Ohlone. Um, the Ohlone are a Native American people located in the Northern California coast. Uh, the tribes inhabited areas from the coast of San Francisco uh, through Monterey Bay uh, to Lower Salinas Valley. And what we're going to draw today is what, you're, what I'm showing you here. But we're going to draw it again together. I just wanted to give you an idea of the layout so you can see what we have and kind of where everything is. Uh, this is the tool hut made of tool grass. This will be the river here uh, surrounded by tool grass and then the oak tree. We're gonna do the sketch like this and then we're gonna add more detail to it. Um, so let's get started. First we're gonna start with the uh, tool hut made of tool grass and I'm using the iPad but don't worry um, I'm using the pencil feature, so you can use a pencil and a paper and draw lightly. I'm going to draw a little bit darker so you can see, but this is the first sketch, so make sure everything is light here. And the next um, go around, I'll let you know when we're ready to go darker. So first we're going to draw the tool hut, and it's like an upside down U. Okay, uh, so we'll start with this here and make sure it's not too high, not too low, somewhere in the middle, but a little bit to, to the right because on this side here on the left we're going to have the oak tree and then the hut you can kind of see it's lightly um, the light sketch here and then we're going to add the the river and the tool grass so let's go so first we'll start with one side of the um, tool hut so you can see it just went up and curved um, kind of looks kind of like a top of an egg and then we'll bring that back down the same way and curve it out a little bit and back down here. Again, I'm drawing it a little bit darker so you can see, but I want you guys to do it lightly. Now, in the middle here, down the bottom, we're going to make a line. This is the opening, okay? This is where the entrance is, and this is the line. I'll make this side a little bit longer, a little bit wider, because we're going to add a little bit of depth in the opening, like that. So that's kind of the inside of the opening. And then also we can put a little curve inside here for the inside of the hut. So let's just get all that done. Now the bottom is right here, but <clears throat> what I noticed was when I was looking at the reference picture, um, it's all grass, right? So the bottom is going to be like you know uh, like the lines so we're gonna that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and just start from this line here and just start putting little lines it doesn't have to be uh, perfect in shape or size any shape you want just try to make it kinda in a line and we'll do the same thing on the other side okay let's make a bunch of lines here and connect it to the other side and we'll do the same thing on this part here. Okay. Now um, they have some like ropes or vines going all throughout here. So we're going to draw that uh, next. So I'm going to take from the top, It's it gets a little bit wider as we go down. So at the top, I'm going to take one kind of one space. So one and then make a dot here. And that'll be the first line it, and it's going to kind of curve okay so not perfectly straight so kind of get a curve to it and we'll make another space and make another line to make it a thick like rope right and then we're going to go ahead and um, make the other of vines or ropes um, as we go down and we'll space those um, probably to start uh, with two spaces and then as we go down and get a little bit wider maybe to three spaces so starting from the bottom one two let's make a dot here and this is kind of giving us a lot of line up of where we're going to put you know each rope and then we'll go We'll go one, two, three. One, two, three. 
two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so this will give us some some points of um, moving a little bit here of where we're going to put these ropes. Now again, this rope is going to be a little bit curved. Okay, and then we'll make a little space and do another line underneath to make it thicker. Okay, and then next one, and don't worry if um, it doesn't touch the dot. You can always erase that later. Um, but actually, the 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 uh, ropes start to curve the other way now. So instead of going like that, we're gonna go like this. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of make it look like a rope or a thin vine. And this one is going to have a break in between because of the the entry. So try to just line it up here with this side. And it's actually this line is going to go inside here because it's kind of tying the the grass, kind of like tying the entry open. And you can put some lines in here and also at the bottom you can kind of put the lines up more here. Okay. Now at the very top there's another small piece of vine or rope and then the grass is going to kind of shoot out. The tool grass is going to shoot out so make two curves on each side and then make some lines in between. This is just for the grass kind of, this is where they tie it off I guess. And you can make some lines in here too. Um, now we'll start making some lines on the hut itself. So follow the curve of you know this shape here the best you can. But over here, we're going to make um, some thicker parts, maybe like with some V's, like a V shape, because the grass is going up into this rope and then being tucked in and then it's folded kind of. So it's kind of coming out of the, the fold is coming out of the bottom of the rope. So I'm kind of making like V's, like that. And then underneath those V's, you can put some more, just some more simple lines. And we'll do that all the way through. Okay, so underneath the rope, make some V's, give a little bit of space between the next rope. Okay, make some lines. And again, making some V's. It doesn't have to be perfect. It actually should be different shapes because this is grass, you know, so it should be kind of non-uniform, you know what I mean, like different shapes. Okay. Make some more V's here. You can make the edges kind of stick out too, it's fine because it shouldn't be like a completely smooth line on the sides actually. We can go back and add some detail in there. So if you go over the your outline, that's okay. Because we're going to probably rough it up a little bit to make it look more grass-like anyway. Okay. And I'm going a little bit fast, but take your time. You can always pause the video if it's moving too fast for you guys. And that's kind of how the tool hut should look. Kind of a U shape. We have an opening. We have the inside, which we, we can you can put some lines, light lines in there if you just want to. Whoops, delete that here. Um, kind of for some shading in there. We can add some more detail, but just so you know what that is inside there. It's supposed to be like 
separate from the outside. And then, you know, we have the tie up in the top and some grass shooting out. So behind it is the river with the tool grass, but the oak tree kind of comes in front of it. So on this side, on this corner, we're going to draw um, like a little ledge. And then we'll have an oak tree kind of coming out this way. And then after that, we can draw, draw the river. So let's start with the ledge here and the oak tree uh, next. So you can kind of start at the bottom, the bottom corner. Leave some, you, you want to have some space for the tree to come out. So don't start too much in the corner, the ledge is what I mean. See where this hut is, kind of come down and a little bit to uh, the left. We'll start making the ledge, but have some space here. Don't, don't tuck it all the way, you know what I mean? So let's say one, two, three, four spaces or five, and then we can start the Start a little line here. Okay, and just follow just follow my shapes. We're just making like a little rock ledge. Um, and we'll put some details in there in a minute. Okay, so this is kind of like a little rocky mountainous area. Or hill, I should say, not a mountain. And just make some bumps and lines. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. And there's actually some uh, some rock on top so on top of this we'll make two two rocks and again we'll add some details to it later okay so kind of like a ledge with some rocks and then the root the bottom of the tree will start here right before this rock okay so just draw what I'm drawing right now. And then in the middle, there's a little gap between the trunk. It's like a upside down V. Just follow along. I know you may not know what, what's happening here, but this is the bottom of the tree. And as we start drawing the shape, it'll start coming together. Now first we'll draw um, some of the, the branches coming out and the rest of the trunk will be up here. So let's... Uh, Continue to move along. Okay, so we'll make this uh, kind of curve. Just watch what I'm doing first, and then you, then you can kind of follow along. And it curves in. Okay. And then we're going to curve it in and then around like this. Okay. And we're going to make some small branches, okay? So one, and then make a little... Uh, one space, make it a thick little branch, and make another one. Again, little space to make it thicker, and then one more little branch sticking out. We'll add some, uh, we'll add some leaves in a minute, and then we're gonna take the rest of the branch, kind of curve it. It's gonna go out. Okay, just stick with me here, okay? It'll, you'll start seeing it come together in a minute. I'll bring that out and then we're going to make this split into two two branches okay and then we're going to go up and again we're going to split into two more branches and then we're going to come down and we're going to follow the same shape for this you know to close you know to finish off this this big branch okay and again I'm leaving that I'm leaving this kind of empty right now because we're going to put some leaves there in a minute. So follow the same and keep some thickness to it. But follow the same shape. I'm going to curve up. Okay, and then come around. And then we're going to come back in. But don't go all the way in because this is going to be where the trunk is. So now let's draw that. So now we have a big branch sticking out. Let's draw that trunk. Kind of come up. Okay, then it's going to co come out again. A line coming out, out, out. And then we're going to curve it. Okay, we're going to curve it down and then back up. This is another branch now. Down, back up, keep coming up, 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 and then stop. 
okay and just follow me now I'm just gonna make some curvy shapes it doesn't have to be exact and then this is gonna split out into some more branches again just like we did down here okay just follow along as I make these branches Follow this shape again to make it thick. Just follow the same shape, curve it up. Okay, we're gonna go up here. Oops, we're gonna go up here and back around. And again, don't go all the way down because we're gonna put some more uh, of the tree here, another big branch, and I'll show you in a minute. But I wanted to add another branch coming out from the back of this one here. So I'll make a line coming down, curve up. Okay, just follow my shapes. I'm gonna make some smaller branches here. Kind of split into two. Maybe make a split into three actually. Okay, then we'll follow this line here again to make it thick and just bring it back in. It's kind of going behind this one. Okay, so now you can kind of see the branches shaping up. Um, over here, we're gonna make this go up. Okay, and again, we're going to curve it out and we're going to make it split into another two. Do that again. Okay, split into another two uh, branches like this. I'm going to make this go up, split again. Okay, I'm going to keep splitting and then we're going to bring this bring this back but stop right there because we're going to bring it up one more time make this split into another bigger branch and it'll split again. Okay, I'm actually going to make three three splits. Can you see that? Okay, then we'll then we'll bring this down and we'll stop right around here. And I'll tell you why, because we're going to bring that back in. We're going to, now that we brought it down here, this is what you should have so far. Branch coming out, splitting. This is from the main trunk coming out, splitting. From this branch coming out, splitting. You know, it's uh, might get a little bit complicated, but it will look good um, and look more realistic if you do it this way. And then we'll bring this down. Okay, I'm going to stop right here, and then I'm just going to bring bring this up. No more branches, just kind of the rest of the tree just kind of going up, and then we'll have some more. Um, let me move this over here so you can see, and then we'll have some. We'll start adding some uh, of the leaves. So just follow me. Oops, can you see what I'm doing? It's going to stop there. I'm going to leave some space because I'm going to put some leaves there. And then we're going to go one, two, three. Okay, and we're going to close, we're going to fall, we're going to make some, uh, the other side of the the tree here. We're going to bring it, we're going to bring it all the way down, kind of outside of the, of the border here. So just watch, just like that. Okay. And then we'll add um, some like little holes in the tree. Make another like kind of like a O, but don't close it all the way. And make a little um, line, kind of making kind of project it out a little bit. Same thing on this one. I'm gonna fix this a little bit. And we will add some more details to it in a minute. So now it kind of looks like a spooky tree uh, without the leaves. So now let's add um, some leaves to it. So let's start with this here. So what you can do is just add some curvy lines right at the end of each of these branches. And then leave some space and around it will kind of be like a cloud. Okay. Okay. Just make little, little curves. Think of them as, you know, bushy bushy leaves 
Okay. And this you can kind of do how you want. You can put them like in one piece or separate little pieces. I'm just putting some lines in there to kind of separate these. You can put some, so I'm just putting little um, curves here for the leaves. And then I'm going to bring this kind of from the back side to bring it around here. So I'll start here and you'll start seeing it come together and you can do it. You can kind of put the leaves where you want but they should definitely be um, starting, you know, where these branches are, right? Because that's where the leaves are going to sprout from. Okay. So again, we'll put some curves here. Going to close up these. You can put more than one curve next to it. Close up these branches. And then we'll kind of know where, where the uh, leaves should be kind of fluffing around the branches. Okay, again, I'm just going to put kind of put them kind of separate them a little bit. You can make it uh, as big as or as small as you want. Okay. And then um I'll bring some of the some of the leaves here. Okay. So let's go to this edge here. Again, we'll close up these branches. Okay, start putting some some fluffy leaves around here. And you'll start filling up the tree, right? It will stop looking like a spooky tree and look like a regular tree. Because now we're adding some some leaves to it, some some life. It's not a dead tree anymore. So every branch I see, I'm putting some some curves here. Again, I'm going to put uh, some leaves behind, kind of hanging all around these branches. So I'll just do that where all the branches are. Add some lines to close it up, and then around of around those branches start putting some cur curves and curls you can put lines where you know inside a little bit if you want but we can add more detail to the t details to that later just kind of get the overall shape okay i think it's coming together now over here again we're going to close up these or these um, put some lines some curves where these branches are and then we'll add some some more curves and we can see kind of the tree filling up now which I have this one. Well, let, me, let me just close this up here. I have this kind of going through. And then uh, behind, I've added some more. Some more leaves. And I think I think that's good for now. Uh, another little hole here, like a, like a half circle. And then I'll make a little rim around it to make it look like it's sticking out from the tree or like protruding out a little bit. Okay. And now we have the oak tree. We'll add some more details to the trunk on the second go around. Um, and we have the tool hut and 
Next, we'll uh, draw the river. You can kind of see the outline here of the uh, river in the tool grass. So, so let's do that again. Let's do it lightly because we're going to add tool grass around it, and we're going to have to erase kind of some of the lines probably. But let's start with um, just making like a. It doesn't have to be a completely straight line, but making kind of like a little bumpy line. It can be up and down a little bit because this is kind of where the dirt is. and it's going to come uh, around like that okay so like like that all right so curve around okay and then we'll do the other side kind of follow this line oops um, to follow this line uh, so because the river will be here and we'll kind of go through um, a little bit to the tree and then kind of stop there so let's do one two three four okay okay and then we'll just kind of follow this along of course it'll go behind the tree you can't see it just keep your pencil with the same line and then you can continue behind the tree you can keep bringing it here and then it kind of curves there okay and then we'll, we'll add some tool grass you know in front make like a little round bottom because it's coming from the water and then just make some on each side kind of shoot it out okay and then you can kind of make it look like long grass okay we'll put, put kind of put them in groups so I'm making a little round bottom and then line up and then up and down up and down up and down okay so you can see where I kind of made the outline here so and yes it's gonna go over your line that you made um, and then after we make this you can erase that uh, line behind it okay so up and down we can kind of curve at the bottom okay keep making curves so if this water is coming out I mean this grass is coming out from the water line up up and down up and down make this you know both sides kind of shooting out up and down Okay, and uh, you can make some of it curving out. Some of this grass kind of curving out. Because it's not perfectly up and down. But again, we can add more details, but just so you have an idea, some of this grass kind of curves out. Okay. I'm going to leave a little bit of space here. And then, as you can see, I have more of the grass here. So just make the curve bottom, make it shoot out. You can make some of it curving out, up and down. Oops. Okay. Let me let me zoom back out here so you can see the whole picture. Okay, we're gonna just finish that off. Then we're gonna add some more grass on this side. So just curve the bottom, put them in bunches. Make some lines up and down, make it a little bit long because the tool grass is coming out quite high to make some make some of it curve out if you want. It makes it look a little bit more real. Okay. And um, let's go to this side here. So on, this is kind of behind, so you just see the top of the grass here on this side. Because this is uh, kind of covering it, so... This is kind of sticking out... ...behind this. And as we come around, then you'll kind of see it. 
in the front. Okay, so. So I'm just, you know, basically putting grass in the front. Place it how you want it. Make it as tall as you want. Don't make it too tall. But, you know, you can make it higher, a little bit shorter than this, that's fine. The next step is we can go back, add some more detail, and we'll add some design to the tree. Uh, we'll clean up, see these lines here. Actually, first we'll clean up those lines. So I'm just going to take an eraser here. I'm just going to lightly erase these lines because the grass is actually should be in front. And then we can go back and add the, you know, touch up to it. So that's fine. But you can just see this where the grass is. I'm erasing the line behind it. Um, and I'll go back and I'll add, we can I'll go back and add the uh, detail to the grass. Okay, so once you kind of erase it, you don't have to erase it too hard. It can just be lightly erased. Um, we'll go back and um, touch it up and add some details. So we'll start with just kind of darkening the lines a little bit. I'm just um, making it a little bit darker. Uh, making some more deeper lines here also on the edges of this this hut we can make it a little bit darker and we can also make it a little bit um, more grass like so I'm making it a little bit jagged on the edges here and I'm bringing it all the way down um, also on the bottom I'm going to add a few more um, like V's and stuff make it kind of more curvy and just make it a little bit more um, more grass-like at the bottom. So I'm just putting some V's here. Uh, same thing on this side. I'm just going to make it a little bit jagged to uh, give it that grassy look on the outside. And then um, just kind of go over the lines. Just kind of go over areas where you feel it's a little bit light. And darken it if you feel that some of your areas are already dark enough you don't have to uh, darken it more I'm just going over areas that I think I can make a little bit darker I actually like the the lines here already and <clears throat> or how dark they are so I don't want to touch this too much um, you can get a little bit more uh, into it and get more detail and try to add some shading underneath these um, these V's here if you wanted to but it will take a little bit a little, uh, little time so uh, I'm just going to kind of go over a little few areas where um, I feel like I can make it a little bit darker but I'm not going to do too much here add some lines okay and then actually we can put a little bit of shadow if the sun was like coming from this direction um, so make a light line um, actually start it from here a little light line like that and curve it a little bit okay and then you kind of kind of tapers back out a little bit no, it's not too skinny it's a little bit wide because it will kind of wrap behind the the um, the hut so I'm making this a little bit pointier too on the end um, and then I'll just make some, some lines here to be like a shadow on the ground from the hut. It doesn't, be, it doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Okay, so now we can add some lines um, to the ground here. And again, I'm just making it a little bit darker. This is just kind of like a dirt ground, right? So it should still be kind of smooth. Follow this along. Now over here, actually, I'm going to make um, a little bit of depth, some like rocky area. So right when you're coming here, like after you pass this first bit of tool grass here, and I'll darken that while I'm here, make it curve. Okay. Like that. 
and then I'm gonna make another I'm gonna bring down another line here to make give us some depth so this is kind of like a, a rocky area kind of protruding up um, on the ground and I'm gonna put some lines here where that area is and then I'm gonna make another area coming right out from here following the same line and uh, make it some make it a little bit more square and also a kind of similar type of uh, design. Okay, I'm gonna make, give it a little bit more depth. Okay, and I'll just kind of close it out here. Again, I'll add some lines. So it gives us the surface some more, you know, depth and contouring and different. Okay, kind of a more of a a rocky look. And then we'll just go ahead and um, continue after or the after the grass and just darken this the rest of the the land mass here and we'll add some more details to this um, little hilly area as well inside here I'll put a little line and kind of a little bit of lines inside for some shading to add some more depth um, and I think that's good for the ground uh, maybe we'll go back to the to the grass um, and make that a little bit uh, darker so at the bottom again it's rounded kind of coming out of the water and then you can you can add some more you know some adding some u-shaped lines kind of hanging down so just kind of go through it and we'll just make all these all these darker so the tool grass can be more visible. Okay, we'll just go through all these. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just add some, you know, darker lines. Follow the same, you know, pattern that you have already laid out. Again, I'm adding, I'm making it a little bit more wild looking, I guess you can say, uh, to try to make it look more natural. A little bit taller as well. But you don't have to make it taller. If you think that your height is good enough as it is, you can keep it the same height if you like the way you've already um, sketched it out you can just trace it over uh, darker I'm going a little bit fast here um, but you know you can take your time kind of go through it uh, we'll do the same here on this Okay, it can be a little bit wild. It doesn't have to be perfect because it is grass, right? So think about grass and um, kind of it just kind of goes in all directions. I'm just making some lines, but not too close together. You know, I'm leaving a little bit of gap in between. So hopefully you get the idea. So we'll just kind of finish up this tool grass and then we'll get to the oak tree. Add some details to the oak tree. And then uh, we should be kind of in a good position to, um, you know, you can add some color to it. Um, I won't be adding color to it here because I don't think we have enough time to do that. Um, but, you know, we can look up a picture of um, tool grass hut online uh, or the scene online the Ohlone tribe and you can probably find this similar scene and just kind of get the colors which is basically just brown and green you know same thing for the trees so now let's start um, the oak tree so the oak tree I think what we'll start with is we'll start with actually no before the oak tree sorry let's start with this area here so let me move this over so as you can see Here's the tool grass. I kind of darkened it. I just made it a little bit more wild looking. Um, now let's kind of add some details to this ledge. So see how it, when it kind of comes out here, we'll kind of make um, a little line there for the edge and add some lines here. A 
again we'll add another line over here for a ledge make this darker add a little bit of you know some lines in the top it's another mm -hmm. dirt area kind of darken these lines here and then we have these rocks so we'll add some more details to those rocks as well okay so in the rocks I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow in the front just in the very front a little bit of dip in here uh, another little line in here a little crack or crevice and again I'm just going to add some shading just to the right to the front I'm just making lines you know kind of in the front of the rock and I think that's that's good enough inside the tree here uh, the little gap will just kind of uh, darken that inside okay and let's add um, let's add some shading around the around the rim here of the tree so this one can be it doesn't have to be too dark it can be a little bit lighter I'm making some lines kind of come out and then as I make them come out I'm making them curve a little bit then we go a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing okay so I'm making them curve here to so kind of give the roundness effect right so you can kind of see the tree is like a cylinder shape it's not a flat shape so this helps again add some depth uh, to the picture and just kind of following along and just putting some shading just on the bottom uh, part of the of the branch not on everything Okay, and only on one side here, you know. So just follow along here. I know I'm moving a little bit fast, but um, I'll leave this um, a picture of this drawing up when I'm done um, shading it, so you can come back and reference it. You can also pause the video after uh, it's finished and just kind of look at the details. Oh, sorry. Now I'm moving on to uh, the trunk of the tree. I'm just putting some some uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? wiggly lines I guess you can say just to kind of show the texture of the tree um, these little holes here I'm going to add inside I'm going to make it dark and then I'm going to make lines as I come out to give it some uh, effect you know some shadow effect I'll do the same thing here at the bottom I'll make it dark and then I'll kind of lighten it out here I think it's looking looking better when you add some of these details Again, a little bit dark here, and then I'll lighten it out. Okay, so let's continue to add some more um, wiggly lines to the tree, and put them as you know as you see fit. But you can use this as a guide, you know, of where you're putting your lines. It doesn't have to be the same type of exact lines that I'm doing, but you get the idea here that I'm just trying to make it um, look more tree-like, right? Okay, now again here, let's add some shadow um, to where the branch is. Again, I'm going to bring some lines out to kind of give it a little bit of curve shape here. And then let's just continue on from here. I'll give a little gap here. And we'll kind of take this up. Actually, you can put some more lines here to make it again a little bit curvy. I think that's good. Um, let's add some more shading here. This little branch here.
Okay, you can kind of see the tree coming to life now, right? Once you add some of these details. Um, there's another little hole here, so I'll make a little circle, a little line, like this, but smaller. And again, we'll add some shadow here. Um, let's add, uh, where would the shadow go here? Well, let's just put some lines here. So I'm just going around adding some shadow to where I think um, it makes sense. Okay, so uh, we added some shadow here uh, to the oak tree. I think it's looking good um, to the ledge here. Actually, I can add a little bit more. But you can go through it, you know, um, and add some more shadow here and shading. Um, even feel free to use like lines and stuff, um, like for shadow. Like for example here, if you wanted to. Kind of make it a little bit darker in the front and then kind of lighten it out if you want. It gives it a little bit more of that depth. You know, if you add some shadow here and there. Um, in any case, um, now I wanted to um, add some little bit of shading to the tree, tree area. Well, I'm sorry, um, to the, not the tree area, uh, shading to uh, the leaf area, where all the leaves are. So um, basically at the end of each branch where the tree kind of goes in, uh, the branch goes into the leaves, I'm just going to add some shading here. I'm going to make like little, um, what do you call this, bumps I guess, darker bumps here and there, just to give it some more detail. So some areas you should make darker, some areas you can keep light, so this is kind of up to you. There's no, you know, specific area, just add a little bit of, uh, you know, different shades. Here I'm going to add a little bit of uh, shading because it's kind of behind this branch. I'm just putting some lines here. Uh, maybe inside where these um, branches are, I'll put some lines in here. So see, it adds some depth, see, and some uh, different variations, you know, within the... Within the leaves. So just kind of go in here, make some areas darker, add some bumps here and there. Just make it like a fluffy cloud kind of. I mean, I didn't put all the leaf details in there. I didn't draw each and every leaf because that would take forever. So just to kind of give it that that look, I'm just adding a few. And behind the where the branches are, I'm putting a little bit of lines here. I see it's kind of making it look more more realistic. So we'll kind of go through that, um, you know, throughout where all the leaves are, and then. Um, we should be good to go. Um, we can add some color to it. Um, you can leave it like this if you like it, black and white. I kind of like it the way it is because we added some details and I like the way the details show. Depends on see how I'm going and just kind of going, jumping back and forth to other areas. Like if I see other areas as I go that I want to darken, I'll do that. So you don't have to do exactly as I'm doing, but. I just want to get you, give you guys an idea um, of how to shade to make it look more realistic. So here I can see that I can add some more leaves here. So just going to go through 
add some more little bumps like I'm doing here. Okay, add a few lines inside here and there. Kind of on the inner part of the tree where the branches are. Right. Gonna go through, make sure you can see what I'm doing here. I'm moving a little bit fast, but um, again, we can just after this is done, you can pause this uh, video and kind of look at the final result, and you can kind of see where I had put some of the dark areas, where I put some of the shading. And I'm using a reference photo, so you can go online, you can go on Google, you can look up some reference pictures um, of other things you want to draw, maybe other Native American tribes or tribes people. Um, you can find them online, um, and it's a good way to practice. Practice your drawing skills. Now here, <clears throat> since it's be kind of behind the tree, I'm going to add just some lines like that and lightly bring it out, you know, like that. So I like to always, you know, start a little bit darker and then lighten it out. I just like that look. See, and as I go through, I'm going to add some, some more shadows here and there. So just go ahead and feel, you know, feel free to jump around. Okay, I think that's good. Um, you can you can take your time. You can go kind of go through and add more details. Um, but let me just uh, darken this a little bit here. Okay, I can add some lines here and there. You know, as I see areas that are light, I'll darken them. You can do the same. So there you have it. Um, here's a scene of a tool grass hut um, with the uh, tool grass. Um, also um, on the river area, I didn't really put any details here on the river, um, but you can just put uh, maybe some lines here. I'm just making like soft lines with some gaps in between. I'm using like the side of my pencil here. You can also kind of go and um, you know add some ripples or some other you know water drops if you want to get fancy. But I'm just gonna just put a few um, few lines here. For the water and leave it like that. So there you go. Um, what I was saying was a tool grass hut uh, with a little river here, tool grass surrounding it, and an oak tree, um, a nature scene from the Ohlone uh, tribe. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much, guys.